my boys, we're going to be looking at the next part of our topic, and this is called area. So you would have done area before we are in primary school, but let's just have a recap. All right, so what is area? Well, area is the amount of space inside the shape. Okay, so that's something you would have been told before. So the amount of space inside the circle, the amount of space inside the rectangle, and the amount of space inside the heart. Okay, so now how do we measure this area? So how do we measure that space inside each shape? Well, what we do is we see how many squares can cover that space. So here's our circle. We can count how many squares are in that space. Here's a square. We can also count how many little squares are inside that space. Now, the next question is how... How do we know what squares to use? Well, there's all different sizes. Uh, typically, we use uh, squares which are one centimeter by one centimeter or one millimeter by one millimeter or one meter by one meter even, for example. Now, we could use a square centimeter. Now, a square centimeter is one centimeter wide and one centimeter high one centimetre wide and one centimetre high. This is called a square centimetre. All right, now we can use different sized squares as well besides that. But just a bit, just to emphasise that a square centimetre is written as one centimetre with a power of two there, a little two. So one centimetre and the little power of two up there is said squared so this shape here one centimeter by one centimeter is written as one centimeter squared okay that's that's the abbreviation for one centimeter squared now what about other squares well we could use a millimeter by a millimeter square for example so a millimeter by millimeter i'm not going to draw it to scale because it's so small but it'd be it'd be smaller than the square centimeter okay and it would be one millimeter wide and one millimeter high okay and the way we write one square millimeter is one millimeter squared okay so we can use different size squares millimeter squares or centimetre squares, even metre squares, for example. So without doing this to scale again, let's have a look at something like a square metre. Square metre would be a lot bigger, of course. This is not to scale, nowhere near to scale, actually. Just think of a metre ruler in a classroom. So one metre wide, one metre high. That's called a square metre, right? So the area of this is one meter squared. We could all even also do a square kilometre. A square kilometre will be very big indeed. Obviously, this is not to scale. It'll be way bigger, in fact, a lot bigger than the square metre. So a square kilometre would be one kilometre wide and one kilometre high, all right? So that's way bigger than um, a square metre. Because if you think about it, a square kilometre, um, is actually a thousand meters, right? Uh, and a thousand meters there. So if I compare that to the square meter, well, square meter is only one meter wide compared to a square kilometer, which is a thousand meters wide. So it's a thousand times um, wider and also a thousand times higher. So the kilometer square is big, and you use square kilometers to measure things like areas of uh, land, for example. Square metres, we could use that to measure the area of a room, in a, uh, for example, a classroom. Square centimetres, you might, um, if I was going to measure uh, some sort of book, so think of your textbook, I could use a square centimetre, here's your textbook here, so I could use square centimetres to measure that. Square millimetres, um, something really small, maybe think of um, um, right, think of your 
fingers, right? If you were to look at your thumbnail, that would be something you could use square millimeters to measure the area of, okay? All right, so let's have a look at uh, our first example. Now, here we've got a shape, and each square in this shape is has got an area of one square centimeter. Okay, so every single square in this shape has an area of one square centimeter. Right, and that's because each square is one centimeter wide and one centimeter high. So the area is one centimeter squared. Okay, so to find the area of this shape, we're just going to count how many squares one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine centimeter squares for the area. Okay, so just counting the squares. Let's have a look at the next one. Again, all the squares in these shapes are square centimeters, so just count the squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's got an area of ten square centimeters. And this one here, we've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, this triangle here and this triangle here, there, that's half the square. So that forms one square. And this is another half here. So all together we've got three, five, seven, seven and a half, eight, eight and a half. So this will be 8.5 square centimeters. Okay. Now let's have a look at some area formulas. So this will make our calculations easier. So let's have a look at this uh, rectangle. That is six centimeters wide. So let's write that down. Six centimeters wide and three centimeters high. Okay, so three centimeters high. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six squares there and then one, two, three. So each one of these squares is a centimeter square. And if you count them, you should count that there is 18, 18 squares in that picture. So my area is 18 square centimeters. Now, what's a quicker way than counting those squares? Well, if I take the, the width, which is six, and I'll take the height, which is three, hopefully you can see that six times three is also 18. So I can write down that the area is six times three, which is 18 square centimeters. Now, let's see if we can work out a formula for this. Now, if this is the base of our rectangle, B for base, and if this is the height of a rectangle, H for height, then we can say that the area is the base multiplied by the height. Okay, so now some books will have length multiplied by width. which is still the same as base times height. So you might have length and width. So some textbooks will say this is the length and then this is the width. Okay, but base and height are the same thing, All right? So length times width or base times height. So this is our formula. Okay, so rather than counting squares, we just have to now take the base, and multiply it by the height. So in, this, in the previous question, we took the base, 6, and multiply it by the height, 3. And we got 18 square centimetres. Now, don't forget you have to put the 2 there, because that tells you that you're working with squares, and squares is all about area. 
Now let's have a look at the area of the square. Now we know for a square that all the sides are equal. So we could put little dashes here. All the sides are equal. So if we let the, the base here, let's call this B for base. If that's the base, then that length is also the base, isn't it? Because all the lengths are the same on a square. So we can say, and we know that a square is a special kind of rectangle with all the sides equal. So it's just going to be base times by the base. Or in other words, we could write down it's just the base squared, right? Squared means multiplying a number by itself. So area is equal to the base squared. Okay, so now, by the way, if you just want to use the one formula for a square, there's our square. You could use the same formula as you did for the rectangle. So you could say area of the square is base times height. Okay, it's just that the base and the height are the same in a square. Okay, so you can use just use base times height for rectangle and square. So let's have a look at first question. All right, so we've got a rectangle here. We know the opposite sides are equal. I've got to find the area of these shapes. So in my working out, I'm going to write down the formula. Area is base times height. Now, the base is 8. The height is 2. Okay, now, I don't need the other numbers. I just need the base and the height. So, and that's going to be 16. And don't forget to put the units. Now, it's not centimetres. It's centimetres squared. Okay, that's your answer for the first one. Now, for the square, now we could use the same formula if you wanted to, base times height. Just remember all the sides are the same, so six meter, six millimeters, six millimeters, six and six. Now the base is here, which is six, and this is the height. Just need two numbers, not all four of them. So base times height is six times six, which is 36. Now this time it's millimeters squared. Okay. So to make sure you understand the answer, that 36 means I can fit 36 squares inside the big square. And each one of those 36 squares has dimensions one millimeter by one millimeter. Now, Let's have a look at the next question. That's the rectangle again. So you can pause the video now if you want and have a go at this question. So I'm just going to write down my formula again, base times height. Okay. Now here is my base, 35, multiplied by the height, which is 2. And that's going to give you 70, 35 times 2 is 70. And don't forget the units, meters squared. The units are important. Okay, next question. So make sure these are copied down. Um, now, this is a composite figure. So what we're going to do is we're going to just divide this into two rectangles. I draw a little dotted line here. I'm going to call this A1 and A2. All right, so let's have a look. So A1, so we can work that out. Now for A1, what do we need? We need the base and the height. Now, the height is this distance here. Okay, there's a the height there. 
and we also need to know the base. Now the base is just that length there. So let's see if we can work that out. Now we know it's 12 meters all the way across. Okay, and we also know that it's six meters from here to here. Now, how do we know that? We know that this length here is six, six meters. Now, in a rectangle, the opposite sides are the same length. So if that's six, then that's six. Okay, so up to there is six meters. Now, if the whole distance is 12, so if all the way across is the 12 meters, right, that means that this distance here from here to here must also be six meters because the six meters plus the six meters must be the, the full 12 meters there. Now, We've got the base of A1, then we need to know the height. And we're going to do it the same way. So we know that this is six meters here, all the way there. And we know that this is four meters. Okay. Now, if that's four meters, then this length here must be two meters. Okay. Because four plus the two gives me the six. Because don't forget the opposite sides in a rectangle are equal. So if this is six, then this is six as well. So we've got the base, which is six meters, the height, which is two meters. So for A1, we have six times two, which is 12 square meters. And then for A2, let's have a look, for A2, what do we have? Well, A2, the measurements are already there for us, aren't they? We've got the base, which is six, the height, which is six. So it's six times six, which is 36 meters squared. Now, once you've got A1 and A2, you need to find the total of those. So the total area will be 12 plus 36 which equals 48 meters squared. Okay, so make sure that's copied down. Now there is one question that I wanna warn you about. You, you need to make sure that the units are the same for all the questions. So if I give you a rectangle here, so this is a separate question. Let's just say this was, um, uh, 10 meters. Let's just say that this is here um, 12 centimeters. Okay. Now, before going base times height, we've got to make sure that the meters and centimeters are the same. Now, we could redraw that rectangle. Let's just pick a uh, shape up here. Let's just do a, an approximate sketch. And I want to redraw that picture with all the same units. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert um, my centimeters into meters. So now this is 10 meters. Now, to convert centimetres to metres, I need to divide by 100. So that's going to give me 0 0.12 metres. Okay. So the way that I worked that out was I had to go 12 centimetres divided by 100 is equal to 0 0.12 metres. Now, once they're in the same units, then I can use my area formula. So area will be 10 times by 0 0.12, which is 1.2 square meters for the area. Okay. 
So just be aware that they've got to be the same units. Now let's just say we wanted to use centimeters instead of meters. You could also convert everything to centimeters. So if I create another rectangle, so I'll do it down here. Let's just say, here's my rectangle. And now in this case, let's just say I'm going to convert everything to centimeters. So instead of having 10 meters, now I know there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So I'm just going to times this by 100. So just add those two zeros in. 10 times 100 is 1,000. So that's centimeters. And then this is centimeters as well. Now the area is the base times the height. So we could go uh, 1,000 times by 12, which is 12,000. And that's square centimeters. Now, notice that the numbers are different and that's because the uh, units are different. Now, 1.2 square meters means that I can fit a um, uh, 1.2 uh, squares into this space um, where the squares are meter by meter. Here, I can fit 12,000 much smaller squares where each square is one centimeter by one centimeter. So I'm using smaller squares to measure the area here. And because everything's in meters here, I'm using larger squares, and that's why those numbers are smaller. But there, there are equivalent areas. So the area calculated here is the same as the area calculated here. Okay, so the, the message is, Make sure your units are the same before you do your area calculation. And that's our lesson for today.